Hi, I'm Daniel Dixon with FreeAccountingSchool.com and today we're going to talk about inventory and how to do some specific type of inventory uh, journal entries. Now if you think you know this before, stick with me because even though we've talked about inventory accounting before a little bit, we're going to go into a little bit more in-depth type stuff and some important principles you don't want to miss. Okay, so what questions are we going to go uh, talk about? Number one, what is inventory? Number two, how do you record the purchase of inventory on account using double entry accounting? How do you record the purchase of inventory with a debit card using double entry accounting? Do most businesses who have inventory have more than one inventory account in a double entry accounting system? And then what is an inventory control system? Now again, don't think you know this all, all this stuff already just because of my prior lessons. We're going to introduce quite a bit of new stuff, so bear with me. Okay, first question. What is inventory? Well, inventory are products that a business buys or makes for the purpose of selling to someone else. For example, when Walmart buys products from manufacturers and then puts them in their store to sell to us, well, that's Walmart's inventory. Or another example, let's say you're a, a table manufacturer. When you buy the raw lumber to make your tables, well, that is inventory. That raw lumber is inventory. And when you're making the tables, well, in the process of making them, that's still inventory. And when you're finished and the tables are all done, but they haven't been sold yet, then that's still inventory. So even when it's not completely finished and it's still in a, a kind of a raw form, it's still considered inventory. Okay, next question. How do you record the purchase of inventory on account? Well, let's, uh, let's do an example and you'll see how we answer that question, okay? Pretend you own a newspaper stand and you sell newspapers and magazines and candy and gum and stuff like that to people who come to your newspaper stand. And then um, let's assume that one of your most popular newspapers that you sell is the Wall Street Journal and assume that today you purchase 200 copies of the Wall Street Journal on account from the Wall Street Journal to sell to your customers. And assume that each paper costs you 50 cents and so 200 newspapers that you bought from Wall Street Journal times 50 cents is $100 so, you have to, so you're going to owe the Wall Street Journal $100. Okay, well how would you record the purchase? Well. Before we can answer that question, we need to answer the question, what do I mean by on account? That's a very important little term that you gotta, you gotta see in my problem here. Well, on account means that we don't have to pay for those newspapers right away. Um, so that we bought those papers from the Wall Street Journal, and so we're, gonna, uh, we're not gonna have to pay the Wall Street Journal for you know, a certain time frame. Usually it's 30 days that you have before you have to pay a vendor. Okay? So it just means on account means we have usually means we have 30 days to pay it. We don't have to pay it right away. Okay. So now that we know what on account means, we can answer we can finally do the journal entry to answer the question that I asked before. How are we going to record this journal entry? Well, first off, we are going to do a debit to inventory for hundred dollars and then we're going to go over to another account called accounts payable and we're going to make a credit entry for $100. Now, let's analyze why we did that, okay? Why did we do, first off, why did we do a debit to inventory? Well, the reason we did that is because inventory is an asset account. And, and if you remember, an asset is something the business owns. So when you want to record an increase of an asset, you make a debit. And a debit is on the left side of the T right here, okay? So now, we went over and did a credit to an account called accounts payable. Now, what is accounts payable? Well. Because you purchased the newspapers on account, you pick the, the, uh, the account, accounts payable. Accounts payable is where you track all the, p the vendors that you owe money to where the bill is due in the next 30 days, okay? Now, how did we know that we needed to make a credit to accounts payable? Well, we know that because accounts payable is a liability type of account. I mean, this is a record of someone we owe money to. This right here is saying that we owe the Wall Street Journal $100. And in, and in a real accounting system, you would make a little memo here saying that you owe 100 that this $100 belongs to the Wall Street Journal or this debt belongs to the Wall Street Journal. So in a liability type of account, to show an increase in a liability, you do a credit. Okay, so next question. How do you record the purchase of inventory with a debit card? Okay, so not on account with a debit card. Well, 
Let's do that last problem again, and we'll just pretend that we used a debit card instead of on account. So again, pretend you own a newspaper stand, you're gonna buy 200 copies of the Wall Street Journal from the Wall Street Journal, and you paid uh, 50 cents each for them, and so that's a that's hundred dollars total that you have to pay the Wall Street Journal, and instead of uh, buying on account, you're gonna you you bought it with a debit card, okay? So first off, just like before, we're gonna make a debit entry of a hundred dollars to inventory. It means so we have a hundred dollars worth of newspapers now in our inventory, and next what we're gonna do is go over to the account cash and bank and then we're gonna make a credit entry of $100 right here. Now, why did I choose the account cash and bank when I used my debit card? Well, when you pay for something with your debit card, the money comes out of your bank account, right? And so now our cash and bank is going down by $100. And what type of account is cash and bank? Well, it's an asset account, and to show a decrease in an asset account, you do a credit, and that's what we did. We did a credit for $100, which means you did an entry on the right side of the T. Okay, so next question. Do most businesses who have inventory have more than one inventory account in their double entry accounting system? Well, the answer is yes. You know, Many companies that have inventory will use multiple inventory accounts for different categories of in inventory that they have. For instance, in that last example, when we you know, hypothetically owned a newspaper stand, you might have an inventory account where you keep track of all the newspapers that you buy. You might have one for the candy and food items that you buy, and you might have one for the magazines that you buy to sell to your customers. So in that instance, maybe you would have three different account, uh, inventory accounts. I mean, I once worked at um, um, a building supply retail chain as an accountant, and we had hundreds of inventory accounts. And each, and there were hundreds of different kinds of products in each one of those inventory accounts. You know, they had different accounts for different kinds of lumber and different kind of tools, like different kinds of and different kinds of nails and all these thousands and thousands of products that they offered because they were a retail store. And so they would cram all these different kinds of products into these particular inventory categories so they could keep easier track of them. So you should just know that in real life, you know, it can be a little bit more complex than just having one inventory account. But don't worry about it for now. That'll come when you're doing more advanced accounting. You'll learn all about that kind of stuff. Okay, so last question. What is an inventory accounting system, also known as an inventory control system? Well, most businesses that have inventory, um, like we said, use multiple inventory accounts in their system. However, most of these um, businesses need an additional set of um, computer software and electronic tools to help them keep track of all the inventory that they have in their store. I mean, really, inventory can be fairly complex in a business, and really the most complex thing that accountants ever have to deal with are all related to inventory. So inventory control systems are usually additional software that goes on top of your regular accounting software, or it might be a component of your regular accounting software that has more in-depth tools to keep track of your inventory. This will probably involve barcode scanners and um, other additional hardware like barcode readers and that kind of thing. Okay, so that was it for today. Thank you for joining me. If you like my videos on you and you're watching this on YouTube, please do me a favor and um, give me a thumbs up and leave a comment or become a YouTube channel subscriber for my YouTube channel. You can also check out more of my accounting videos at freeaccountingschool.com.